Let's see. It is live. Okay. We're live now. I don't see many people in here. We'll see if anybody actually shows up. We got Josh in the green room. So worst case scenario, we go talk to Josh for a little while. <laughs> but Josh has this is where we start to see stuff. He's got way more stickers than I do. What's going on? See a couple of people popped in. I don't know if that means Josh and I are the two people. No. If there is somebody, they're not saying anything. Or do I not see it? All right. I'm going to get Josh up here. Um, but first, guys, I don't know who's actually in here or not. And this thing will replay. Um, oh, there's Talia saying hi. Yeah, Cool. We got our first comment while you're sitting right next to us. Oh, there's James and Buddy. What's going on, Buddy? Thank you guys for dropping by. Um, since it was our first live here, I figured we'd introduce my family to everybody. Hey, David. Um, we've got Carolina, Hello. my fiance. She's hanging out tonight for a little bit. And then Talia, who Hi. is part of the crew. She's been in a bunch Hi. of the videos. Um, oh, Steve Taylor. Yes, actually, Steve, I noticed I was actually looking at your page the other day and I was like, who's this guy? It looks like a, it looked local. So I dug a little deeper and saw that you worked for a local electrician. I appreciate you following and stuff, dude. Um, I am going to bring up 508 to the chat here. Um, looks like we're got quite a few people in already. I gotta go. There you go. There's Josh. What's going on? Not much, man. Um, yeah, that was actually high key family. Yeah, there we go. Here's James. James is dude down in NYC. Um, I'm sure we've shown you guys the videos. Do, how do I get? How do I make them blue from here? I don't know if I can make them blue from Streamyard. I don't know. I always do it. I run my phone at the same time, so I can. Yeah, it looks like I got to do the same thing. Blue. Can you make me blue? Yeah, I gotta make you blue, Talia. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can be blue. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know. We kind of did this little live thing, and I, I, I thought it'd be a cool idea to talk. And uh, no link. Oh, I gotta get Buddy a link. Hang on, Buddy. Um. <clears throat> all right. Josh, I was telling Nate that he has to catch up with the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been collecting for three years. So I gave him a bunch last time we met up or one and, of the and last times we met up. So and that's most of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving. I'm moving. I have got some trades, but that's why I'm kind of filling them in here. So that way you can't see this. Yeah. You know? I'm running out of room. I just have this little section and anything else I can kind of squeeze in. So all right. All right, we got squirrel in there too. What's going on, buddy? Uh, nope, retired auto body. Oh, okay. Maybe it was just a card or something I saw. Something with uh, electric, electric or whatever. I'm just going into the other thing, guys, real quick so I can make people whatever. I can be a blue person, yay. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'll turn my volume down so it doesn't make everybody sound so ridiculous. Slow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, you know what? I got to get Buddy in here first. I don't know why Buddy doesn't have the link coming buddy i promise yeah james i think i sent you some down didn't i sent down some stickers i definitely need an lgm one i don't i don't think that we have that one no we don't no, I have you can see better than me i don't know how you can read the yeah <laughs> i just put my email in the chat if anyone wants to do a sticker swap with me um i got tons of stickers from my channel and other channels i'll send you a bunch so Hang on. why isn't this working there we go so buddy should be coming up soon and i'm trying to make everybody blue so hang on one moment <laughs> <laughs> but anyways i thought this would be a good opportunity josh you know and and everybody else just anybody to get up on the panel i'm going to try to get different people up and just catch up with what's been going on during the week you know um when when we all see these videos and stuff we only catch 15 20 minutes of it I don't, I don't know about you josh well i, I know you do but cause we've spent days out magnet fishing but there's hours and hours of time you know so it'd be cool to hear stories that don't make it to tape you know what i mean and i thought this might be a good opportunity to do that type of stuff so that's why i figured i'd go live you know yeah it's it's always good to go live and hang out and oh, get a little a little more to the story you know yeah there we go big man buddy <laughs> There's Buddy. Hello. Oh, hey, man, buddy. You haven't met uh, 
This is my fiance Carolina and Talia. Carolina and Talia, it is very nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. And I know that guy. <laughs> All right, so we're figuring this out now. Adding moderators. Yes, I'm gonna make you moderator. Relax. <laughs> Gene Day's history. What's going on, buddy? Thank you for coming in. My buddy Gene, I told her earlier that you were gonna be um premiering your first of your Tuesday night lives tonight, and I was gonna come up on panel and say hello. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate everybody that's coming in. I'm um, yeah. actually kind of shocked that it uh figured maybe we'd have four or five people in here chatting. Thank you, Tracy. You know, Nate, yes. prime time, it, it's tough. There are actually a lot of channels on tonight, um, well-known channels, well-liked channels, friends of mine and yours, um, and you still got a bunch of people in here checking you out and supporting you. That's really excellent. Absolutely, and look at that. We got a new guy here, That's the, the new dude, heavy metal detecting passion. He's only got hey, to Hey, what's out. going on? He just subbed, and uh, I checked out his thing, and it's awesome because it is a little bit rocking. Um, he's got four videos out there, so definitely if everybody uh, – I'm going to make him blue so that way everybody can check his page out and sub. Yeah, make him blue. I'll definitely check him out. But it was pretty cool. Yeah. I really I really like the way that the vibe and stuff like that of the video, dude. It was cool. Yeah, and I want to thank him, too, for coming out and checking out my channel and stuff, coming to say hello and everything. Good to see you, Heavy Metal. There it is. I'm going to check him out right now. <laughs> yeah, Talia loves Heavy Metal, too. We actually uh, – All right, I'm your 200th subscriber. Oh, there you go. We got you to 200 heavy metal. Nice. I'll check out uh, some videos later. But no, Talia was, uh, you know, since I've been with her mom, she's been a fan of metal and she was really into Ghost. So I took her to Ghost this year for the first time. And now she's bit. She keeps asking me to go to shows all the time. I have all the CDs. I have a poster of them. I have I have a lot of things of them. It's kind of a session now. It's a mild obsession. Absolutely. Yeah, I got to say that I'm not a fan. No, <laughs> two fans and they just yep. can't escape. <laughs> she gets forced to, you know. I, I think a few months ago, like I said, I'm really, really into death metal, but took her to cattle decapitation, and she didn't know what the heck was what's happening. What was <laughs> happening? You know. Oh, there's Talka. You can talk to Talka. Hola. Hola. Do some more. Some more? Yeah, come on. Wait, what band? What band? <laughs> yeah, Ta Talka speaks Spanish pretty much exclusively. He, only, he knows very little English, and he does oh, his yeah. best to like communicate with us in the chats and everything. Nice guy from Chile. Talka, my my fiance, she can talk very good Spanish. She's from Colombia. Translate, translate. Hola, cómo estás? Translate more. There's nothing what, to translate. What else do you want me to say? Just <laughs> <laughs> Colombiana. Just say Colombia. I. Just a Colombiana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there. It looks like maybe Gene knows. Oh, I didn't get David on there yet. Let's Muy get David bien. Blue. Muy bien, Taka. Muy bien. <laughs> what band is her favorite? Oh, uh, what band's her favorite? Ghost. That's who we ended up seeing was Ghost. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. she got her Ghost sweatshirt, of course, right yeah, next I to her. I can't see what I'm Right here. Right. Yeah. Right. Viva Colombia. Viva Colombia. <laughs> Buenas noches. <laughs> yeah, also, Gene, what's oh, up? Sorry. This I was just gonna say this is this is going fantastic. You were I know you were slightly apprehensive about doing your first um sometime weekly live and uh, this is great. Definitely was man. I mean we're still relatively new. You know, you guys are all over just about a thousand now, so I'm I'm scraping the bottom. Oh, there he goes. Ghost, one of his faves also. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Rats, yes. We got really uh we got really oh, lucky this summer, James, and uh we saw them live and they, they played rats. Yeah, that is so a good. really good song. It's oh. also really funny. There you go. There's your translation part. Can you can you see it uh, it's very good that we can speak. I don't know too much about English. Yeah, there you go. Ah, pero podemos practicar. Practicar awesome. español. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, James, I was a uh, I was a big fan of heavy metal for a Why long time, it? and um, what you call it? I, I just talked to some of my old bandmates, and we haven't played in like fifteen years, and we're going to. We're just going to start putting some practices together and see what happens. Nice. Yeah, it actually just all came together yesterday. Nice. Pretty pumped about it. Yes. 
When is Sleep Token going to be there? Um, it already sold out the tickets. The tickets are already sold out. But I think it's like yeah, they somewhere sell out in May. Quick, James. Please, can we just go to that Cal Decapitation? Come on, dude. <coughs> we'll see. Have some old records in my band. Yeah. Well, oh, there we go. Yeah, the band was called. I'll, I'll put sometime. You know what? Maybe I'll like repost like a short or something that'll have it in there. Nice. <laughs> What's that? You're I don't. Singer, I, right? Wouldn't really call it singing, buddy. It was more just growling and screaming. Oh, yeah. Well, something. it's still singing, no matter how you do it. Some people just basically talk to the beat. Right. Oh, and James, so we actually played New York quite a bit. We uh, we played down in Castle Heights, probably about that exact time frame, like 2000, 2001. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. Cool. Battle of Bands. Okay, I want to see a battle of bands between Nate and James. <laughs> do a, yeah, do a magnet fishing rock off. Yeah, hell yeah. And bass player since Heck I was yeah. fifteen. Yeah. I started learning when I was fifteen too, but I dropped the bass by the time I was eighteen because I had way too much, way too much in me, and I had to scream and yell and scream and yell. So being being a Cookie Monster vocalist fit me very well. Your wife screams at time, and I'm still cool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, he wants to be interviewed. Dalka. Pe pero be necesitamos. ¿Cómo hacemos para traducir? He wants to be interviewed, so he, wa he wants to talk about his hobby. We could, we could, we could arrange that sometime, Talka. I would 100% be on board with that. When did you tell him that? Yeah. ¿Cuándo quieres ser entrevistado? ¿Cuándo, eh, ¿cuándo puedes? That would be wonderful to see a bilingual conversation about metal detecting what a magnificent treasure hunt and like, and you yeah. could hear both languages. Yeah. hundred percent. I think that would actually be cool. I'm glad that come together. Hey, Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send yeah. Silver assassin. What's going on? Now, Nate, Brian made some amazing finds that he was sharing in that group chat today. Metal detecting. I'm not going to say anything about them, but something you're going to have to watch out for, for sure. Mm. And Josh showed us something behind the scenes here that he's gonna show later on. Not not here, but yeah. on his on his time, it's it's amazing, and it all correlates to the past few weeks. So, awesome. it's like I would say ninety five percent done. Just yeah, I know what you're talking about, and it. it, it's awesome. I've seen it. Yeah, there you go. Jeans Jeans on board with doing that that show. Talco would yeah, definitely yeah. do that, buddy. Earlier, June said she was in a band in 79. There you go. Boy, it says if you hear some rock metal music in my videos, it's my music. That is your music. That's actually awesome because I was listening to it and I'm like, I don't recognize this. The one that I commented on, I like that one. I like I like the way that you guys, uh, you start the video off, you're kind of just chilling in the woods. I'm telling you, buddy, you, I, I think you'd get into it. So would, so would Josh. It's really cool. It's a different way of doing videos, you know. I, I'd never yeah, seen the I, way. I could, I could definitely be less rushed and more artistic about the way I present my material. Like I was watching um, Expressions of the Outdoors last night, and I was blown away with the amount of work in editing and like cinematography that he put into making a metal detector something really special and beautiful. I was really impressed by that. That's Expressions of the Outdoors. Um, yeah, there was a lot of that. I just haven't watched them enough because I was blown away by that video last night during the um with the what was it? Uh, I dig Mondays. Yeah, the little Monday dig rounds. Yeah, that yeah, it was cool. Monday All the animation. Days. It was. It almost looked like the animation in the real world were kind of meeting. It was kind of they did a really good job. Yeah, that was nice. The yeah. Idea. Next time we do a video, I think we should put some metal idea. Good yeah. man, Cannibal Corpse. I think we should add a bit of that. Okay, the problem is, <laughs> is Cannibal Corpse. Eh? Uh. The problem is Talia copyrights. That's why we don't use a lot of that type oh, of stuff in YouTube. I would love to use other people's music, but we can't. And 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 the last thing we're trying to build. I don't need. We don't need copyright hits. Hmm. I'll do some Hanson and Ace of Base. James, that is a really really uh. good one because I'll tell you what. When I was younger. I would have said Metallica, but now it's Megadeth. I just think when you sit down and listen to them, their musicianship is 100% better. You could just... How many, I, you just tra I'm going to translate for Talca. Yeah, go ahead, Talca. Uh, Talca, le envías, envíale un mensaje a él y yo le traduzco para que se pongan de acuerdo para la entrevista. 
Pero entonces envíale un mensaje a él, lo, lo, lo coordina. <laughs> just, I'm just telling him to send you a message yeah, yeah. so we can arrange the interview. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I'm going to put my email in there right now, Talca. Also, the heavy metal guy just said that we should play Camel Corpse backwards while there. There you go. We could do that. And I wonder what it would say to us. <laughs> I, wonder if, I wonder if the algorithm would pick that up if we did it backwards. You think, you think they read it backwards? Yeah, probably not. I don't know. There's all those channels that do like music backwards and stuff. I wonder how they get away with that. Like, hmm. You know? Yeah. I'll give it a whirl. I heard someone say that you can use a lot of music if you just credit them correctly in the description of the video or something like that. I don't know if it's true or not. I know there's a number of songs that are copyright free, but I've never yeah. like settled down and spent the time to learn what I could use, you know. I just, I just choose not to do music. I did put a little bit in today, yeah. on today's video towards the end credits, which I really like to do because it, like, when you're just staring at coins or whatever, it kind of, you know, opens yeah. it up. But I've gotten a couple copyright strikes. One of them was just completely ridiculous. Um, they claimed I used one song when I didn't even use that song. Huh. But then I was trying to see. Uh look up the music that I actually used and see if right. that was, you know, copyright free or whatever they call it. And I wasn't hundred percent sure. So I just, they gave me an option to change yeah, the music yeah. or just delete those clips that had the music. And so I just deleted the clips instead of like trying to, right. You know, fight. Yeah, that's it. the one thing, heavy metal. I'm trying to figure out honestly, like, who owns our music because <laughs> I, I would have even liked to have put in some of ours in there just like a little snips um but i don't even think that i own it even though it was just done on like some indie underground labels um yeah you'd have to look into that for sure I definitely would so you can play symphony of destruction on guitar yeah that's pretty cool i can't play the guitar worth anything talia is actually learning how to play guitar right now she's probably been playing for I don't four, know. Four or five months? Yeah, four but like months. it's each week, like each like, day and week. Also, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. It's kind of stupid okay. because there's a lot of music. Like there's more and more music coming into the day. So it's going to stop being copies of other music that they don't even know it. And then yeah. I don't know any. It don't make any sense, lady. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> a lot of music. When a lot of music, okay, there's going to be probably like, copies of other music. People, people can have the same ideas and then. Yes, you know, that, that, yeah, that, that does a lot happen. Of, a lot of songs sound similar. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah, unfortunately, we were actually, when we started out as a band, we sounded so similar to Cannibal Corpse, people ripped on us. <laughs> Even though we didn't think we sounded anything like them. But whatever, it was fun. I don't really care, you know, whatever, the, yeah. whatever people think about music. But I listen to everything. It's not just metal. I can, I put that silly little uh, short up of Brockton being completely absent-minded about you being under the bridge. Oh um, my god! I, I was in the middle of the bridge, and I had no idea whatsoever. Was say, to be fair, most people didn't know I was under there. I don't even know what I was doing under there, honestly. But <laughs> but I mean, point point is, is, I ended up using um some credence in that one. You know, I, I, I listen to everything. Yeah, I even don't mind some of her Latin music. It's pretty cool. You know? I yeah, sing. we have really people. I love Soda Stereo. Soda Stereo, yeah, that's a good one. Really good. Yeah. I bought um, a um, I bought a guitar a few years ago when I broke my leg to um, pass the time, and boy, is it dusty. Never, never learned how to play a lick. Yeah. You know what, Brian? I actually think I stole that from you. I think I heard it, and I was like, and I made sure I didn't use the same song. I intentionally used Green River because you use a different one. <laughs> that was, there you go. It was influenced. Yeah, Castle Heights. Did you mean the one in Queens? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. We played with uh, Mortician there. Um, we were actually on. Oh, uh, under the bridge. That would have been perfect. <laughs> What's that? What under the bridge? To use for use Chili Pepper song, Under the Bridge. Oh, yeah. That would have been, absolutely. Another one of my favorite songs. Yeah, that was horrible. You need a more heroic. You need a more heroic soundtrack to what you did, though. I didn't. I couldn't even believe it when I started after the fact. I had. I was gonna put music in on that for mine, like some, 
like he's like tense, eye of the tiger or something for that you know like some uh dramatic music but then i was like i don't want to get copyrighted strike and have that whole thing be removed again like it happened in my last video so i was like no nah, we'll just leave it as stressful tense situation itself <laughs> what is what just okay yeah all right so what's going on there it goes that's yeah, pretty nice. We've actually been able to bring Talca into the conversation tonight. You know, I usually feel like he kind of comes in for a couple of minutes and then he takes off. But <laughs> I can be checking off for tonight. Yeah, Van and I used to play in the red zone, not far from there. Yeah, dude, I was like, oh, hi, Ann. Ann how are hi, you? Ann. I uh, did just just got your stickers and uh, second chip. I appreciate it. I know you had to just fill the gap, so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get some chips your way in. Ann has the best cards. They're all homemade. It's beautiful. crazy what she does. Yeah, I'll show you guys upstairs. I mean, the the card, it's the chip, from the stickers. Everything we get. What is? No. Which one is it from? Where's your one? Is what from? The sticker. The stickers from my muddy mess. Ann. Oh, okay. Oh, I, yeah. knew that. I knew it. Yeah, Ann. Uh huh. You want know, like patience to chat more? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, what else is going on, guys? Anything? Uh, you say you, you say you do scouts, Josh. How long you been doing that? Uh, since I could walk, oh, yeah. <laughs> I went all the way through scouts, uh, cub scout into Eagle scout. And then I was scout leader for a little bit. And then I took a couple years, like 10 years off, something like that. And now both my boys are back into it and I'm the scout leader again. So that's pretty sweet. I, I was a scout as a kid, um, went up, I just went Eagle and stopped I, I, I turned into a ridiculous, rebellious teen, you know. So, I, I, did you say? But, did you say you just went eagle? Did you actually become an eagle scout? No, I hadn't taken. I hadn't done whatever that transition was, but I had oh. gone through everything that we had gone to, whatever we blows or whatever they call that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then my That's son did it. There it is. There you go. Oh, cool. My son. Yeah, Josh, I'll have to talk to you about the uh, conservation. Two thousand four. The scouts going there a lot. <laughs> there we go. There we go. One more person in here. He's about to disrupt the whole thing. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh geez, Louise, what's going on up in here? Yo, what is going on, my brothers, my dog nuts, my sisters? Oh, no. Hello, there you go. Sean. Real quick, <laughs> real quick. My fiance Carolina and her daughter Talia. Oh, oh, Sean. Nice to meet you. He told me he needs some translation, so I came along. Yeah. You know? There you go. <laughs> Dude, it's been awesome. Talka's been in the channel now for like 20 minutes, and they've been able to go back and forth. It's really cool. That's he wants awesome. an interview, so we're going to arrange that. Also, yeah, we're going to arrange it. I'm going to search for the translation. That's <laughs> great. Good job. And I can be brought to this translator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We talk just like each other. Maybe maybe 508 needs to be a translator. Yeah, I'm here. Right. Yeah, it would be cool to see what they find. Josh, what's up, you know, I would absolutely be interested to see what he finds compared to what we find here. You know, in Chile, absolutely. You know? There are yeah. there must be a lot of things from the natives. Yeah. Because I'm from Colombia, and there are a lot of cool stuff that you can find in the mountains, like like uh, that's the way they hunt. What is the name for that? They have the little arrows, metal, yeah. arrows yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Oh yeah, father yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, father, see, I see it's all like very dry, hot, right. rough environments, and he has his little like pick, kind of like a hammer and a pick. And he's been away to find these musket balls and these really great old coins that he finds. Oh, really? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying to get the light. Oh, can't can't put the light right there. There it is. What do you call it? Um, oh, hang okay. on one second, Talia. No, but her dad owns some property in Torlima, um, which is a mountainous area of Colombia, and uh, they have you, you could pretty much dig anywhere in his property and find artifacts. You don't even need a metal detector. That's you know what I mean? Awesome. Yeah. And, and it's kind of like that all over that place. Um, I wouldn't mind going there and also from, from, from the conquista from the conquistadors. The, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like a stuff that they used to use in the horses and, and metal shoes, like the shoes they used to yeah, use. Yeah. Yeah. For the ride there. Yeah. yeah. But not the horseshoes, but like what they use in their for the shoes. Okay. Not for the horse. Oh, yeah. There's so many like sure. epic legends sure. about the gold from the Spanish and the native cultures down there and everything, the Aztec and the Incas and all that in different areas. And uh, the gold right. down there is like legendary. 
And you know there's going to be some hidden here and there. Bill. Absolutely. Uh, we can dig her in the house. So, David, David Coombs, hello, everything wicked. I'm making wicked more. Digger. Silver Assassin, what's up? Tracy Jones, hello. Gene Diggs, just saying hello to everybody that said hi to me. Hi, Talca. My Muddy Mess, Heavy Metal. What's up, everybody? Yeah, Sean, you missed it earlier. Heavy Metal. Check those guys out. It's They're really cool stuff. It's a little bit heavier uh, of a sound, like real rocking. Um, but there's also like a really cool, chill vibe. You'd, I think you'd like their videos. Check them out. Nice. John, John P. P. Adventures. Hello. Squirrel. Yeah, this is buzzing pretty good. So um, what's going on with you, man? I mean, you, you and uh, Josh and, and Buddy Biggs pulling on some crazy stuff together. All of us are. You are too, man. Well, I mean, you're kind of I mean, leading you the, guys. You guys. <laughs> you led the charge here, you know? I mean, I'm just pulling up guns. You're pulling up bombs, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> somebody got to do it. And Josh, Josh, Josh. <laughs> there it you is. Know. Yeah. You know, Brock, Brockton and Josh and, 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 and uh, Nate are making these amazing finds, and, and I was there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a, you got a gun. I was you there. You got a BB gun. You've had your gun, too. Yeah. I mean, what a, what a month. I mean, I pull out a bomb on the first. Josh pulls out that big bazooka. Uh, the bazooka round right there on the like 6th, the right? Yeah, then on the 13th, I pull out another bomb, yeah, but it, it's already uh, um, it's already fired, it's got a hole in the in the bottom of it, so it's already dead. <laughs> yeah, I put it in CLR, guys, and the friggin' thing disintegrated. Oh, that sucks, it's gone. Oh. It, it, I mean, it <laughs> sucks because too. I wanted to keep that so bad, it's okay. I will be back to Watertown, and I will get another shell. I guarantee I'll get another shell. Guarantee you there's more in there. Absolutely. And then, we can set up like 10 guys and probably find five, six more of them. You know what I mean? Like right after I grab that, the next day I go to Waltham, and I yeah. pull out a frigging gun. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we, we have the video coming out in a couple of weeks. I mean, but Talia, Talia saw a gun, uh, her first gun pull this weekend when wow. her and my son were with me. That's we pulled awesome. up. We pulled up two of them, and one of them is possibly like eighteen hundreds. We wow. maybe we're going to be probably getting it back from the cops. I called them today. Which one? The uh, shotgun or a rifle? If you look oh, at it rifle. closely, most of it's all made of wood. Um, I saw that. I saw that. It actually, it actually looked pretty good. Like it wasn't. It, it wasn't that bad for being in the no. water. I that think it'll like be a very up. old vintage. That looks like a very old vintage single shot shotgun to me. Yeah, that's yeah. Much like well, that's like, why I said shotgun because it looked like a shotgun to me. That's right. Yeah, they were amazing. I, and and the, here's the say, the way it played out. Unfortunately, I'm I'm ruining the video, but <laughs> we pulled the gun out, and I was like, "All right, whatever. Might as well call and check." It looked really crusty. For sure. I, I didn't think we needed to call on it, but you know, I was just kind of teaching everybody the right way to do things. So we called, and I was like, "You know what? While we're waiting, I'm gonna magnet fish." threw it in and I'm like, I got something. Doesn't feel like a gun. She goes, but what if it's a bigger gun? My son goes, what if it's a rifle? And I said, it's not. Don't worry. I pull it up. It's a rifle. <laughs> That's awesome. So it, it was back to back. We got you know the revolver, then the rifle. Two poles, two guns. That's awesome. That's yeah, it's awesome. like that it really is. That day with me and you and you're like, what do we do? Is we're like, we'll call the cops. But I was like, let's, let's wait. Yeah, because you know, we might find something else. We yeah, didn't, but that's what I said that's, to him when you got there, though, I was like, I should have waited just in case there were more of them. Yeah. Well, when I was when I was in Waltham, hey, Nick. I pulled that gun. The first thing I tossed, bro. Right. First thing, crazy. Boom, that little first toss. It was. Pulled it up. I'm like, oh, it's a gun. <laughs> I mean, I, I was just like beside myself because I mean, I. I I can't believe I threw it out there and pulled it back and there was a gun on there. Um, but I put it aside and said, I'm going to do magnet fishing first and then I'll call the cops because that ruins the video. Right. If you have no other video, you yeah, can't even no have, you won't have a video. Yeah. It yeah. would just be all like, 
okay, I found a gun and here's the police. You know, you want to have somewhat of a longer video so people can, um, you'll have more retention on your video. Um, so when you have like, say, a 10 minute video, yeah, the retention time on a 10 minute video is roughly around three to four minutes if you're lucky, right? On like a 20 to 30 minute video, Those you're gonna get higher view yeah. because they're watching it. Just right. make everything. If you're doing the video, make sure you're entertaining them throughout the whole thing up until like I do it up until like eight minutes or so. It's all entertainment up until eight minutes. Right. And then I can drag off and put other stuff in the other side. Yeah. But I want to put all the exciting stuff in the beginning I hear so that. I can so I can keep their attention going with sense. me. I try to get them at least that first couple minutes, you know, but maybe I should try doing that, extend them out a little bit longer because yep. I'm really trying to, you know, I'm just about to hit that first mark where we can do memberships, but, but my watch time is much lower. So I got to mm -hmm. figure out a way of getting that up. Don't drag, don't, um, there's pills for that. Um, <laughs> did, don't drag, <laughs> don't, don't, <You're> no. don't, <laughs> don't drag, um, don't drag it out in, in the beginning of your video because that's when um, they're watching like your video. And if they see it dragging out, they're going to be like, oh, wait a minute. He just drew the magnet. Now he's dragging it back. It's taking forever. Yeah, you know, I mean, exactly. it, I it just up. cut it up so it's entertainment the whole time. So they can be like, wow, 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 wow. And, and it will keep their attention. Because I might, I might try the to attention is very, very short these days, man. Yeah, especially yeah, with might, shorts. I might separate and out and that. do some different videos, like still be magnificent ish, but do something similar to what Buddy was talking about. What, what was that channel again, Buddy? Because I saw it too. I just forgot the channel name. What? The one that you were talking about that was very artistic. I didn't know that was going to be a quiz. What? On Monday, Digs, last night, dude. Oh, last night. Oh, oh Expressions of the Outdoors did a really beautiful uh, neurotech video. A lot of yeah. really uh, hard work in the editing and cinematography, I call it. Yeah, no, uh, absolutely. The the editing is key, too. Um, but honestly, I mean, you can have a great video, but your title and thumbnail mm. is mostly yeah. what people, like, look at first. So as soon as, as soon as you put that video out, it could be an awesome video, but your title is no good or your thumbnail is no good. And then you have no video. Maybe with your graphic art skills, definitely make sure you do as many good thumbnails as you can because Rockton told me that, and it seems to be very true. Um, yeah. Thumbnails are more first out people. They, they do, but I've, I've made some that like look like they're too much. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got a barrel bring some of this back. Some of it's just like too jazzed up because that guy's too fancy. I'm not watching that. We are selling magnificent after all. You know what I mean? We're not yeah. like we're not doing some educational thing where it's like come watch me and we're gonna put you through five of the best tips of this and it's and it's crazy like that, you know? Um but yeah, I mean I, I like I enjoy doing the thumbnails. Talia likes doing them too. Um yeah. we'll get maybe we'll get Talia back in some of the thumbnail game. I'm gonna quit. Apparently, you can yeah, quit. Apparently, but you my thumbnails were they say three not okay, points, yeah. But you know, focal points and the color yellow, bigger. focal points, yes, exactly. The color yellow supposedly grabs their attention like subconsciously, and I think that's why they even say that McDonald's uses the golden arches because it's yellow. Good night, heavy metal. Um, metal's out. Thanks for dropping by, I appreciate it. The thing is with with the um, with with the thumbnail, you don't really know what pops unless you actually look into other magnificers. Yeah, like if it's a magnificent video, yeah, type in magnificent or whatever the title that you have already. That's that's gonna be like, say you went out, you found a gun. Yeah. So I would be like, found a gun, magnificent. Absolutely. I would type that in YouTube yeah. and all your big YouTubers will come up and you'll see that they get millions of views or thousands of views or whatever it is. Yeah. Don't copy the oh, yeah. same exact thing, but kind of make the title and thumbnail similar to that. 
right and you'll get tons of views because it's already working for them and you see that it's working for them right so that's yeah. what people clicked on and I, the wording I, I like through, but i try not to like overdo it because i also don't want to oversell it you know what i mean i'm not i'm not trying to feed people bullcraft sure i got a gun you know what i mean and i'm gonna say i caught the gun yeah. and we're called absolutely there's no lie in that but i don't want that to be 100 the, the, the sticking point you know it's not the sticking point um the thing is is you got to make them want to click on that title or thumbnail because people are scrolling by all day long right oh yeah they see your video they start reading the title exactly brian you know what i mean they just keep on going yep but if something no extreme clickbait exactly but you can get it so a title can like 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 they can be like, oh my goodness, I want to see what happened. Like, like, like what I named my title. Like, I, I said, why did a, a detective come to the scene? So right. it's yeah. kind of like it pulling mystery. them in and it's creating a, a mystery. Exactly. They're like, oh wow, why did a title go? Uh, why did a, a detective go there? And yeah. they're looking at it. <laughs> I'm starting to get more views on it. I changed the title. It was gun found magnificent or something like that it, it was right. uh in in the charles river um yeah because you're elaborating massachusetts yeah. i got rid of waltham massachusetts and i said um why did a detective come to the scene as i pulled out a gun right magnificent in the charles river so it, it's kind of like pushing them to watch it i, I mean i think i i mean but if I'm you put a little kick in the beginning, it's right. it's gonna hook them. Well, that's what I do. Is just that instead of coming right at it with an intro, you just put you just tiny put a little bit of a hit, like hey, this is coming, you know. Yeah. Um, that way, it give, makes them want to stick around for a little while. But absolutely. You know, yeah. you know Wicked did just put into the uh, into the chat hashtag Massachusetts crew, and Pretty now much. you know Josh and Nate. And Brockton and myself all live very close together. Uh, yeah. Silver Assassin, Brian, and with Chris, Chris Wicked Digga also live very close. We're all in a very tight area. And That's lately, Massachusetts. I've got, to go out with, I've got to go out with with Josh and with Nate. I've gone out with Brockton a number of times. It's awesome. We've all, we've all gone together, yeah. But we do have iffy signals in Rhode Island, so That's we have true. to say Southeast yep. YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Because uh, Ma uh, Massachusetts don't work with iffy signals, Mike. <laughs> no. Well, Talca is saying that uh, detection is a beautiful hobby. Uh, that it relax. It's Good. kind of it's kind of meditating. Yeah. And, and you enjoy the nature, and also it, it's fun to find historic things. Um, and you yeah. have so many. He's, he's saying that he has so many things. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's very cool, Talca. I completely agree. I know there's kind of the language barrier here, but I, I talk about it all the time being meditative, you know, um, all, the, all the time. I mean, I always at least take five minutes for myself out there and, you know, just enjoy standing there for a minute. Johnny's saying that it's 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 very constructive. That means like it's very like it make you tired. Like it's very like it's a lot of effort for me. Oh, yeah. That's what he's saying. Yeah, it's work. And when you're tr only focused on what is in the soul, I have to find what's in the soul. What is it? Identifying it. You don't have right. any other thoughts creeping in. You're not thinking about the problems you might have at home or like because a lot of percent. You just you're, you're trying to find what is it. Is it gold? Cool? And that's and that's what they talk about in a lot of like Eastern type of philosophies. They talk about being present in the moment, dude. Yeah. You can't be you can't be any more present in the moment when you're focused on digging whatever you're digging or pulling up whatever it is you're pulling. You're you're focused. You know you're yeah. not anywhere else in your head. You're not thinking anything else, and that's what's great about it. You know. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. I also like catching cool stuff. I like catching guns. You know what I mean? We all do. Mm -hmm. Nate, you just bought your metal detector, and you didn't have the greatest conditions yesterday to try it out. But uh, yeah. you can be getting to know that thing soon, and that's awesome, too. I know you're yeah, going to yeah. see something like That's what you do with your magnet fisher. But um, I know you're going to love that detector. You've got to get a pinpointer. I actually might have one for you. Yeah, that's what he keeps saying. i got to get a pinpointer. What What do you have? I got a uh, Vanquish 440. 
Nice. I got a 540, so yeah. I got I, I got I, almost the same unit, man. I talked to a lady here in Yarmouth. I, I didn't even realize it. She had a detector shop for like 40, 50 years here. Nice. Um, yeah, and I just dropped in there, and uh, it's what she recommended. She was like, it's kind of a starter, but not a starter. She's like, it's something you could stick with for a little while. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's kind of why cool. I went with that one a little bit. And it seems easy. I mean, it's, there's not 5,000 buttons. I think that the difference between 440 and 540 is probably Bluetooth headphones or something, something stupid like that. Right. I mean, you really don't need that, but I mean that that's that's awesome. Mine came man. with headphones. I just it have, came with I headphones. Just didn't get the pinpoint pinpoint. Did it did it come with uh, Bluetooth headphones or no plug? Okay, that's probably no, why. Have... That that's that's the difference you know, between the five forty and the four forty. Going back to the therapeutic um, value yeah. of these hobbies, you know, getting your mind off of things and being in the moment. Um, Jean, yeah. big sister, thank you for your service. She mentioned that yeah. after she got out of the service, it really helped her, you know, to, you know, help her. What, what is, uh, what, what's he, what's Silva saying? Yeah. The difference is one of them. I was thinking the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's, what do you mean? The difference yeah. is 100. 540 to 440, dude. The difference is 100. Oh, that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Took me a minute too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Josh. What did you say? Wait, None. hold on. Where's Josh, anyways? <laughs> it's under oh. the bridge, dude. Where? Yeah. Right here. He's right there. Where's Josh? <laughs> He's under me. I, t I told David. I said I'm gonna mess with these guys. <laughs> John Ryan, Cena. Are you gonna premiere a video of all those things you found today? Sorry, Josh. <laughs> Do what? 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 <laughs> what, what are you no, I, was, kind of I didn't hear you. Yeah, it's I'm sorry. To... I keep interrupting. I thought I interrupted Josh, but I'm eager to see when Brian is gonna uh, post a video from from the day you had today. He had a pretty exciting day with the metal detecting aspect. Oh, Brian. Yeah. yeah, that's what he's saying. It sounds like you're muffled and babbling. Maybe he's got pool balls <laughs> in his mouth. Maybe. At least you're uh, not in the toilet again. <laughs> You know, I am freezing my holes out here in my shed um, because when I was in my office in my house the other day on the live, everybody kept saying I looked like I was either in jail or I was on the toilet because I took down my sticker boards because they were all falling off the wall. The tape got degraded. Right. And, the, and um, so it was just a plain gray wall, and I looked like I was in a jail toilet cell. Yeah, because, I mean, it, just, it looked like it had the toilet top and everything. Dude, it looked like you were on the pot. That's funny. What? Yeah, it did look like you were definitely on the toilet. I, I eat a lot of meat, okay? Yeah. I'm like Josh. No, I that, was, eat meat. that was so funny. Frodo. <laughs> Is it cold in your uh, workshop, buddy? It's in my yeah, it's yeah, it's very it's it, well how cold is it outside? Because that's how cold it is in my shed right here without the wind. <laughs> I got 57 degrees right now. Are you serious? Okay, okay, okay. He's, He's like, not 57, Josh. Get out of here. God, it looks like you're ice fishing, buddy. I, mean, oh, yeah, I can't wait to go ice fishing. I, I love summer and spring. I want to go ice fishing in Maine again. I want to catch more of those four feet long pipes. Dude, 57. Get out of here, Josh. That's what my phone says. Dude, your phone lied to you. It's 38 degrees, bro. Yeah, your phone's definitely lying, man. Cool. No, but it's inside his house. Inside your he, house. Inside no, your house. not in your house. <laughs> outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside. Mine doesn't differentiate. Look, outside. Anyways, we're hanging at 11 here. I just want to take a quick moment, not only just <clears throat> to you guys here. I mean, because we've kind of been pretty cool lately um after that video and stuff like that i've appreciated the, the sense of community here but i appreciate everybody that showed up it looks like there's 12 people at one point in time we almost hit like almost hit 20 we were at about 17 nice so th this kind of went a little bit better than i thought so yeah who knows maybe we'll we'll keep doing these yeah try bring the wife next time yeah yeah, yeah. If you make it they will come she's on the couch about the old metal in the bag jar yeah, right. All the metal in the shed. All the metal in the shed in the backyard. Like what they're planning and doing in the future. It's yeah. awesome no. to see that your family is involved here. What do you 
She's just here to talk about the metal in the yard. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. I, I came here to complain. All right, we got a big I was here here to complain. That guy's saying that he has to go, but he's very happy of being here. A uh, big pack on Chile for all of you. And he is just gonna keep an eye on us in the in new adventure. Do, do new adventures. Yeah. He's gonna keep an eye on you guys. Cool. Oh, awesome. Good night, <laughs> What do you yeah, guys? Uh, he's, he's been in the community a long time, and um, he's always very active in a lot of places. Like How do Josh. I make all of that look nice, Josh? Is uh, that the Nate. main problem with me? Nate, like, that? Nate. Oh, you got the you got the three dots. There you go. You there did you it, go. dude. That thing looks beautiful. All cleaned up, man. I told you it was it's, gold. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't think it was honestly, but is it gold? 18k according to Buddy's yeah. tests. No the, way. The acid test. That's gold. Are you serious? He found that, that look video. Like 18K. He watched this premiere from this morning. Um, this morning, Josh premiered this video from my middle decking trip, and I premiered mine. He found that 18 karat gold ring, and when he first dug it up, if you watch his video, he didn't think it was gold. And I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, that's gold. It's not tarnished at all. And he's like, well, maybe it's maybe it's gold plated. And I was like, no, yeah. because it would be bubbled. It would be, you know. And uh, we took it to my house, and I have the acid test kit. And we tested it, and it's 18K. Oh, yeah, no. What, wow. they're both 18K? This, the big one here, 18. this one is stamped 10K, and this one tested 18. So, yeah. Did you buy an acid I can understand the right one, but the left side one, I don't I don't see 18. 18 is very, very uh, shiny, and that looks like a dull. That's, that's what I was saying, too. I mean, I, I didn't think it was, but... It can be also depends on where, like for example, in Colombia we have a lot of 18k, oh. but I know other countries also have 18k, and it looks very different. Yeah, we like, only use 10 and 14 here. And in India they have 24. 20, and the goal in India it's is very very yellow. It's very like yeah, yeah. Oh, it's right on my thumb right there. That's like Africa. Africa 18K. is very very yellow. 18k. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, what uh, What about what about the uh, the other one? There's no marking on it. There's Josh. no marking whatsoever. It's really thin. Like, it's just... Dude, Let me really see the inside. It was, like a, it was also in the ground for a long time. I think that ring's been around for a while. Let me see the inside of yeah. that. Uh, oh, let me go one, one more time. Like, very... on. <laughs> like a very... It could be very antique. A very antique ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that could be, yeah. But there's like, no... Wow. I thought I saw a marking somewhere and I was gonna bust out the uh my scope for it. Yeah. Right? But huh. it oh. tested, so it's going with all my other ones. Huh. Yeah, that's Bring awesome. Bring it to the man. next to somebody who has some takes to see like probably belongs to us. Yeah, do you have any contacts you could bring it to? Have you have you done that before? Yeah, I uh Josh, I, hold it up again. Oh my God. I want to take a picture of it. For all this work, dude. Jesus. <laughs> no, the other way. Uh, I want to see the front of it. Oh, the front of it. Yeah. So it's it's a little. Hold tea. on. Stay right there. Hold on. Stop moving. Yeah, that's true, Tracy. It is softer. Because <laughs> gold itself is super super soft. So the Quit higher moving, the number. Man. All right, I got it. Let me check. The T. I mean, definitely. That's. Maybe somebody's ring. I mean, that was made for somebody. Yeah. And then no. this is the one yeah. my wife found. This is oh, wow. marked. What's that, white gold? Today. Yeah. Well, it's white gold. That's wow. gorgeous. That's like awesome. Gold. Is that real diamond? I'm pretty sure. I mean, why would you put a fake on a 14K, you know? Bro, wow. you I'm should go see. check that. Adios, Taka. I would have. Yes, a, yes. I would. I would definitely check that. Trying to see where the marking is. Bro, that's like a carrot and a half, man. That's huge. Yeah, it's big. Where did Buddy dip off to? He went to warm up inside the house. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the windows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm like I'm like Tom Brady over here. I got <laughs> I got rings on rings. rings. Wow. <laughs> just like it looks just like, <laughs> just like him too. <laughs> <Bam! laughs> That's funny. I think we're up to 13. 
Oh, well, he did see his mom. Oh, 13 you know, Nate and I yesterday um, went, went on a collab together. I didn't take any video. I did a live, a quick one hour live, and he took some video. Oh, look at that. And he took some video, but Nate actually found something that I think is actually very, very exciting. Are you kidding me? You got you found all Holy them? Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, wait. I forgot. A little kid's ring. What the crap? <laughs> Are you serious? You found all those rings detecting so far? Yeah, me and my wife. That's wow. Awesome. Nate. Hey, what's that schematic in the background on the right? Yeah, Jeez, what, what might that be? Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, but I'm sorry, Nate. I, I sorry to interrupt that, but uh, Nate found something magnet fishing yesterday. It's very exciting, and I think I might know what it is now. You're I talking about those in case you want to divulge it. No, I don't care about talking about it. You're talking about okay, the ingots? I think those ingle ingots are actually nickel ingots. I think they're colonial. I think they're from the 1700s, and I think the ingots are nickel. For That's what I thought, too, happen. man. Because nickel is very magnetic. I looked it up. Um, and it will de decrode like that. Decrode. I make up words, <laughs> but I don't know the right word to use. Um, in that weird, in a weird way, I don't know a lot about it yet, but I was looking at that today. I think those are very, very interesting, especially the piece with the point, whatever that was. Right. Uh, yeah, a ring magnet. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I, 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 there were two of those, and then that other thing. We'll, we'll show it later in the video or whatever. Um, but then that thing I thought was a knob. Um, I sent it over to Chris and he thinks it's a knob too. Right. So that was kind of neat. And it's definitely colonial period. Nate. But when you go yeah. on Mal's thing, you can get free jewelry for my mom. Yeah, there you, you go. Know? <laughs> for anything, free That's jewelry. Right. Free right. jewelry. Yeah. It's gonna save me some cash, that metal detector. <laughs> yep. Look at look at Tin Man. <laughs> What's up, Willie? It looks like a ring hey, magnet Willie. next to hey, your. This is engagement ready. You don't have to tell her anybody who found it in the dirt. This there is engagement go. ready, right? No, there. did you read this, <laughs> Josh? You gotta create you yourself. Josh, I really can't believe you. <laughs> Josh, I can't read, really read believe Willie's. you found all those rings. I knew that. I've been watching your videos, and I knew that you had been starting to find rings. You found a couple of the place we were talking about that I know and everything like that. But like, that's a lot of nice rings, dude. You doing Josh, good? Not, you read ready. Willie's. What do we got? Willie's one. Comment. Two, three, four, five, six, Pop it up there, Nate. Seven, eight, He's nine, counting. ten, He's eleven, counting. twelve. No, I don't know. Pop up the pop up the uh, Tin Man's comment. We just go to the comment and hit show. What? We're at twelve. Looks like a ring magnet next to you it. See, wow. Three jewelry for wow. Yeah, do, do you yeah. see um you see the comments on the right, Nate? Yeah, I do. Why? All you have to do is you have to click you can click one. Oh yeah. And it will show up on the oh, yeah, bottom of the screen. Oh. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Wow, that's nice, dude. I wondered how people did that. Wow, Josh. They're not all real. If yeah, I, so let me take away the highlight no, one. These are the fake ones. Any one you want. Oh, okay, they're cool. I can click on them and then unclick. <laughs> Those are yep. these oh, are gold. Nice, or you can click the next comment and this down. One's silver, you know what I mean? So. Right. That's okay, awesome, tell the truth. Guys. Who found more of those rings? You or your wife? Uh me. Uh, my okay. wife's got it. She's got the silver one. I haven't got a silver ring yet. I've got a bunch of junkers. That one's Angie's. But she leads the way in beauty That's here crazy. in more ways than one wow so That's um awesome. she's got gold she's got silver i've got gold and i've got junk so <laughs> yeah that's crazy dude these three yeah, are hers. in the background hi andrew yeah she's back here listening hi. what's up hi hi <laughs> <laughs> I met so, Angie. I had the pleasure of meeting Angie. I think only once, like a little over a year, maybe almost a year and a half ago now, when I met Josh um, and Wicked Digger and Effie Signals for the first time with Brockton. Right. Once I get good enough, yes, we'll just know the, the snowy, one. freezing cold field day. We all <laughs> met Buddy snowy Biggs for the first time. Buddy, I didn't, I didn't meet you before either, did I? 
No, I never even met you. I don't know how you are, dude. Why are you talking to me? Come this on. guy shows up and says, <laughs> I, "This guy shows up and says, uh, I want to buy you a canoe." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're on Facebook, right? And uh, he's like, uh, I, I, I had it out for like four hundred dollars the the canoe. And but he goes, I can, I, I mean, I could do like fifty, right? And I was like, okay, deal. <laughs> I was, I was, I was actually waiting for somebody just like Buddy. To say I can't afford it, I want to do you know I want to do less if I can. He's a, he's a good businessman. Yeah. yeah see? So then, so then, buddy shows up with fifty dollars, and I threw in a whole bunch of things with the with the uh, with the boat and everything like that. I gave him the trolling motor. I gave him the uh, actually the trolling motor. If you watch his video. When he restored that whole thing and it, it looks beautiful now and runs beautiful. Um, and I gave him like floats and stuff that he wants to put on the side, but he don't use those. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just gave everything to him and he went to go hand me 50 bucks. I said, no, nah, you can keep it. No way. I was like, no, I'm What's serious. I don't have no floats. Yeah. You know what? You don't like that no floats. I'm really talking about yeah. He's like, at least get, at least let me give you a hug. I said, okay, fine, I'll take a hug. <laughs> yeah. So the I've got all these rings. I've never gotten rid of a ring. I'd like to return them if I ever could. But the one thing I did find, and I wish I still had, was the golden diamond necklace that I found in oh New God. Jersey. I did end when up did selling sell that. Yeah. You sold that. Yeah. Wow. You found that where? New Jersey? New Jersey Beach. Nice. That's crazy. Yo, I can't wait to hit the beach, man. 14 karat gold, rose gold with diamonds. I wow. couldn't even count them. That's awesome. You must go to Fortune. <laughs> yeah. We won't it's ask sold. you that one. You probably did all right, yeah? Somebody bought it for way more than I sold it for, but that's their problem, I guess. So. Oh. That's their problem. Yeah. Gifts for their wife. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I asked her if she wanted it. She said no. Oh, there you go. Once she says no, then it's on. Yeah. She wanted the money. It went right on eBay. Yeah. There you go. How come the diamond is still there? I can't wait till we can all go back to fishing again together. That'd be that'd be awesome. I mean, the diamond would be the first thing that I would have sold. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah buddy i agree i can't wait to can't wait to do it again um you yeah, guys awesome. I, I, you guys i'm not trying to like super drag these lives out i think this is what i'm going to do each week is maybe go for an hour yeah um so i am super super grateful that you guys came on for this first time with me um means Absolutely. a lot because we've all kind of uh bonded here with this whole bomb and gun and chaos and whatever situation <laughs> we can um so I appreciate it. Um, appreciate everybody that dropped in. Um, yeah, thanks, guys. It, it was a really good time. Absolutely. Thanks for freezing. For us, buddy. Thanks for freezing. Go get warm. <laughs> hey, you have a beautiful family, Nate. Thank you for uh, sharing all this with us tonight, Josh. It's rock. Good to see you guys. And appreciate Nate, you. I don't know if you know that you can like end the live when you say bye to everybody, and then you oh, can keep That's us in. Hi, nice to oh, meet you. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. Adios.